In this question, we're taking the limit as x goes to 11 of the expression shown. And we have a square root and a cubed root to consider rationalizing. Rationalizing the square root is relatively straightforward. And since we introduced this factor to the numerator, we're going to introduce it to the denominator as well. However, uh, rationalizing when we have a difference of cubes is a little more difficult for a lot of people. And sometimes they'll say the cubed root of x minus 3 plus 2. But uh, rationalizing the difference of cubes is a little bit more complex. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to recall that if a cubed minus b cubed is our expression, that equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. Well, we're going to let a be the cubed root of x minus 3, and we're going to let b be 2. So that would mean that a squared is x minus 3 to the 2 thirds, ab is 2 times x minus 3 to the 1 third, and b squared is 4. So we're going to introduce a factor of x minus 3 to the 2 thirds plus 2 times x minus 3 to the 1 third plus 4 to the denominator and to the numerator, to be fair. So we introduce it to the denominator to rationalize that, but we're also going to introduce it to the numerator. When we expand out these two factors, we get x plus 5 times, we get x plus 5 from multiplying the first term in each, and the middle terms cancel out and we have minus 16. So we get x plus 5 minus 16. In the denominator, we get the cubed root of x minus 3 times x minus 3 to the 2 thirds, which is x minus 3. Then we get plus 2 times x minus 3 to the 2 thirds, plus 4 times x minus 3 to the 1 third, minus 2 times x minus 3 to the 2 thirds, minus 4 times x minus 3 to the 1 third. Well, they all canceled out, and minus 8. Well, x plus 5 minus 16 is equal to x minus 11. And x minus 3 minus 8 is equal to x minus 11. So that was our offending factor, and we're able to cancel it out. And we're left with this expression in the numerator and this expression in the denominator. From here, we can substitute in an x value of 11 and not get an indeterminate form. What we get is... 8 to the 2 thirds plus 2 times 8 to the 1 third plus 4 over root 16 plus 4, which equals 3 halves.